right, I'm Chase Perkins, Mark Stites, Colin Crossman. We're the founders of Impervious AI. You guys hear me all right? <laughs> they want to uh, up the volume a little bit. All right. All right, is that better? All right, we're Impervious AI. Um, we're building censorship resistant tech stacks for anyone. We are building layer three of the block, Bitcoin blockchain on Lightning, a programmatic layer on Bitcoin Lightning. So anyone can build and receive the censorship and surveillance resistant uh, components and benefits of Bitcoin without knowing anything necessarily about Bitcoin or Lightning. So why are we doing this? Well, because when it concerning matters of greatest import, whether that's matters of war and peace, whether that's public safety and public health, whether that's governance or financial security, when it's most critical that we can participate in society and express dissent, it is precisely when we're most likely to get oppressed, suppressed, deplatformed, and censored, exactly when we need those capabilities the most. Okay. And it's entirely unnecessary. We are now at a point based on Bitcoin technology and Lightning, that we can enable peer-to-peer, -peer censorship, censorship resistant, surveillance resistant technology at scale. You can peer streaming video, micropayments, uh, podcasts, anything, peer-to-peer, -peer, and uh, we're excited to talk about it. So our current digital infrastructure, the way it's designed, it's like if you were driving a car, you rent a car from Hertz or wherever, you're driving down the street, and as you're driving on the street, you get a notification that says, hey, you're late, you need to return the car, all right? Uh, naturally, they should, if you don't return the vehicle, uh, escalate, tack on additional late fees, and uh, appropriately escalate the matter. But in our digital reality, it does not reflect our physical reality. If there's a perceived violation of terms of service, if there is a DMCA takedown request, if there is, for some reason, an intermediary or a third party gatekeeper decides that for whatever reason you are at risk, at harm, have violated terms of like service, they remote Disney kill your car in the middle of traffic like for, with no ability to contest or arbitrate. And we are at a point, we're at an inflection point as a society where we don't have to put up with this shit. It's completely unnecessary. And the way we're going about it is, well, first of all, before we get into the technical side, and these are the two other geniuses behind it, well, only two, um, is, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's imperative that we address the censorship-resistant technology. And I think maybe we should do a technical demo, and I'll jump back in. So one of the things, this is a proof case of what can be built on our API. Anyone can build on it, regardless of their technical understanding. You can integrate it into an existing platform, or you can build from the ground up. If you want censorship-resistant streaming, micropayments, video, podcast, peer-to-peer, -peer, you can incorporate it. So, and before we jump back on, ultimately, the intermediaries and gatekeepers should be on notice. They're on notice that for the yeah, next the time there's a leak, uh, the, the next time there's a great hack, the next time your data is compromised, controlled or sold without your permission, they are grossly negligent and they are on notice because they didn't have to be that way. There are mechanisms via Lightning, via Impervious and Bitcoin to protect users' data, to receive the benefits and convenience of modern day cloud computing without compromising our data. So without further ado, um, on our API, we built a dynamic metered VPN, which is an example of what anyone can build on Lightning and on Impervious's API, and uh, I'll let you jump in from there. And so this is I'm, Mark. I'm Mark. All right. So we have uh, two nodes, uh, one in green, one in red. They're on opposite sides of the world, and uh, they're running Lightning with uh, Impervious API running on top of that. And uh, the Impervious API is an easy layer to um, you mechanize uh, command and control across Lightning. And for one Satoshi, the power of one Satoshi, if we can hit play, please, um, uh, we can have a payment paid on one side and then received on the other side. And you'll see here in a minute um, the pings running between the nodes and the colored uh, uh, area there showing the uh, length of the time of that data channel. 
And that data channel in this example is only 10 seconds, but it can be 10 days, 10 months, 10 years, based on the amount of Satoshis that you send across the line. And the uh, Lightning Network and the Impervious API on top of that can mechanize how much bandwidth and how much uh, time you can use on that out-of-band data channel. It's high speed, uh, low latency based on the user's internet. Um, uh, if you watch this uh, video at home, impervious.ai, um, there's a lot more tricks that we do. We tweet over the, uh, the Lightning Network and we also uh, have a hosted website built right into the Lightning server itself. So these are unstoppable mechanisms. You can't shut it down. Um, you know, uh, dissidents behind enemy yeah. lines can be, cannot be stopped. Thanks, Mark. That's exactly right. So using Impervious's API, and then we're going to keep going to the technical side a little bit, and we can have you take questions afterwards. There's a lot being built and a lot in development. So you can operate behind enemy lines from denied access areas or hostile networks. So whether you're in Iran, whether you're in China, whether you are in the shadow of tyranny, you will have a mechanism to always send and receive information to broadcast it without fear of reprisal or consequence, which is exactly the way it's supposed to be. And what we've seen with the way information has been weaponized, it's no different than any other form of warfare that has ever been conducted. It is information warfare at a scale and an efficiency that we're just starting to grasp and appreciate. The reality is the best deterrence to kinetic action is the access and broadcast to truth and information. If the parties in Taiwan, if the civilian population have a redundant civilian broadcast network where they can always send and receive information, protect the sender and the receiver, encrypt the data at transport and at rest, they are in a position so no matter what happens, they can always speak the truth and they can always know what's going on in the outside world without an agenda and without propaganda being shoved down their throats. Is there? All good, all good. So this is just the start. We're building, uh, we're working with a number of parties. Uh, we haven't disclosed most of them. We've been in, in uh, closed beta, but in the next few weeks, we're gonna launch our public beta for access to our API. We're working with social networks, working with publishers, working with podcasters, with video streaming, and with conventional business. Like I said, it doesn't have to be from the ground up. All the parties need to understand, especially a platform that has a lot of users or conducts a lot of transactions, there's a lot more that you can do with the Lightning Network than just transactions. That elegant real-time liquidity, real-time settlement layer allows you to have censorship resistant, secure, cryptographically tunneled or channeled information. And you, uh, the way we do that is we use, uh, like Mark was talking about, using Twitter um, basically using Impervious's API as a transport layer to tweet. That's a neat show just to demonstrate what we're doing, but the elegance is we're using it primarily as a key sim layer to establish credentials between parties so you can then establish out-of-band, resilient, peer-to-peer -peer communications channels. So if you're broadcasting, whether it's a podcast, video, media, you can, for, it just takes one humble Satoshi, to bounce back and forth to create this cryptographically secure wormhole hole between parties. And as long as that one Satoshi pings back and forth, you can for free connect out of band and establish cryptographically secure communications channels. It's profound. We're rewriting the internet. And frankly, with, you know, we're stoked to have, um, aren't we just last week, uh, we were fortunate to announce uh, an, uh, a venture round close led by Trammell Venture Partners. I see Dustin. Trammell right there, one of the earliest users in Bitcoin in history, and Christopher Calicott. So thank you very much. Strategic Cyber Ventures, 1031, uh, Mike Doniger, and Deflation VC, they got behind the vision. We're a mission-focused company, and the reason we're going to succeed is because we were building this shit anyway. <laughs> you know, venture capital is great, but we're doing it. And with your guys' support, we're going to scale it ever faster. So. And Pervious AI, I'm happy to keep talking. If you guys have questions, line it up, or else we'll talk at you all night. <laughs> Anyone? Oh. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's a great, uh, great question. How do we make money? Well, so first of all, I think that's a two-fold question. The first is, why do we keep hemorrhaging money and risk and data at an epic scale? What's the deterioration of society as we can't trust a single intermediary as a custodian of our data? 
whether it's the Department of Justice, whether it's the Federal Reserve, whether it's the Treasury, whether it's Equifax or Google, there's always a hack, and that's a deleterious effect on society, so this is an imperative that has to happen. So the first thing is, I think, it's the risk mitigation, and it's the new status quo, and if you don't need an intermediary, I think that's what's most important, is that we're shifting discretion and control back to the individuals creating and using it. It's not that Google or Apple or Facebook has to break or die for us to win. It's that we have discretion in what capacity they use it. So it's right now we've grown completely reliant on it. So the second half, um, so we win the more people that build on Lightning and the more people that incorporate in Pervious's API um, as a new standard. And then as an example of one of the ways we're monetizing is just we're working, we build a dynamic metered VPN and we're working, uh, it's a little too easy to disclose, but government entities that are looking to ensure, I gave an example earlier, that you can uh, send and receive access to resources and uh, assets behind enemy lines and denied access areas without fear of consequence. I mean, that's massive. Look at the breaches, look at the, the vulnerabilities, and everyone's thinking that this is the beginning of the end, we all know it's the end, but it's not. There's only two plausible realities. One, where the gatekeepers and intermediaries, the Googles, Facebooks, and Instagrams, they have greater control and discretion over our life and business, or one where they have far less. We know it's possible, Bitcoin's winning. We're winning. So uh, we vote the latter, and that's what we're gonna do. And there's a lot of ways to monetize, but as, as long as everyone gets on board and realizes that the normal isn't essential, it's not hypothetical, it's not an abstraction, you can build today in a way, and you can manage data and host services with, <laughs> I won't get too expert of place, without really giving others a hard uh, time. Uh, you know, there's, there's some fun things there. So any other questions? Okay, that's great. So we're all on the new internet. It's agreed. <laughs> Perfect. You want to roll, Colin? All right, so you can check out Impervious AI. Uh, like I said, you can request access to our closed beta. Uh, while that's closed right now, we're factoring code and we're pushing out new in the next few weeks. If you sign up, you'll be the first to know uh, when it's available. Start building. We've got thousands of people now, and world-class developers and platforms and institutions ready to, to start ripping. And just like you would call your congressman and say, hey, vote for HR 3126, tell the intermediaries, this is not essential. You do not have to be a shitty custodian to ruin my life and my kid's life and everyone around and we do not have to exist purely to be exploited. It's a viable alternative that shift power away from the intermediaries and from the gatekeepers. So thank you very much. Check us out.